Hello and welcome to Ruckasaurus Rex, the channel where we review and discuss all things dinosaur and other prehistoric animals. How are you guys doing out there? Hope uh, you had a very happy holiday, as in Christmas. This, uh, as the uh, the time of the recording of this video, is New Year's weekend. So uh, hopefully you guys will be bringing in the uh, new year correctly and that uh, I hope and pray for all of you that uh, the new year will hold uh, good things in store for you. And uh, what we got going on here today in order to, uh, I figured, um, I've got a few items to review, but the chances are you guys have already seen them from the more prominent channels and have been there, done that. So I figured in order to maybe draw some of you guys to my channel. And I'm talking about the ones that don't bang with me. The guys that bang with me, you guys are coming anyway. And I greatly appreciate that. But we're trying to draw new business as it were. So you guys understand where I'm coming from. Anyway, I figured I'd end the year with a bang by uh, showing something that uh, very few have. As far as I could see, and I was looking through YouTube uh, in the search to see if I, I saw this anywhere else, and I didn't. It may be out there, but I didn't see it, and I went extensively. Anyway, this in front of you, if you did not know already just by looking at it, is a con... Uh, I said it wrong again. It, I'm always going to get it wrong. Concavenator. There you go. I got it out. Concavenator. Yes, indeed. Um... And uh, I've always wanted one that was of uh, premium quality. Anybody that's been banging with me know that I don't really get the Mattels and things of that nature that look like toys. Uh, I go for the more premium, you know, like PNSO, Howl on Good, GR slash GR Toys, Rebora, etc. And um, I was uh, perusing, looking for uh, a sale on... Um, a dinosaur about a month or so ago. I can't even remember who I was looking for, but I ran across this and I was like, this, I was like, this is dope. And it does, it doesn't look like it's cheap or, you know, just a toy. It, I like models that look realistic and, um, clicked on this online, uh, AliExpress by the way. And uh, I saw what it was, uh, and who made it. This was made by a company called GK Custom. And uh, I said, uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I, I got to get this because, uh, A, I don't have a concavenator in my collection. And, B, I haven't seen anyone review this. So this may actually, I can't front, help boost the channel if this get if this catches on. I guess we'll see, huh? Anyway, um, you see what we got there? And it looks pretty good. You guys tell me in the comment section below, what do you think? Uh, what you know? What is your opinion of just looking at the figure? We'll take a closer look so you can see uh, some of the details in um, this particular model. Like I said, this is a, uh, uh, a, a, a from a company called GK Custom, and uh, yeah, you see what it is. So well, let's, uh, without further ado, take a closer look at it. All right, we've got our concavenator up close and personal. You can see uh, some of that detail there, uh, basically uh, in a brown, brownish kind of caramel kind of color. And uh, it's got uh, striping on the snout. And uh, the eyes are uh, basically, I'm trying to see if there's any white back there, but it looks as though it's just all black pupil, all black. That's what it's looking like. Uh, the uh, mouth is fixed, so no articulated jaw. And, of course, it's fixed in the open position. It has uh, some, I don't know if you can see there, some, it's going to be difficult to really show this part. But these guys, they did paint the interior of the mouth. It's got the wet look. It's pink. And the teeth are painted uh, kind of like a... Uh, White and black. That's what it's kind of looking like to me. Uh, looks pretty good. That All of the teeth, very needle thin and fine. And they are individually painted. So that's pretty cool. You look at the snout. It's got uh, yellowish or lighter, uh, maybe beige 
striping. There, the yellow is the uh, the kind of line that's coming from the crest there down the snout, and uh, he's got some yellow there. And that yellow kind of sort of pivots and then goes behind its eye, which is cool. The bottom jaw is a lighter color. And then, of course, that brown. And you've got the striping there going across. Pretty nice. Four limbs looking nice. They're the same color on the interior. They get lighter. It's got uh, the three claws. And they're uh, painted a lighter color than the rest of the model. As far as the hind limbs, you see what we got going on there. Pretty nice. When you get down to the bottom, you've got the, uh, it's got scoots going down below the, uh, that's technically the ankle, uh, that joint right there. And then, of course, you've got the, uh, the feet and the claws are painted like a white on there as well. Pretty nice. Underside is, uh, like a greenish, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, uh, tannish type of color but it's got a greenish dry bray or overspray on it to give it uh, some contrast there uh it's uh you don't really see too much in the terms in the way of scalation uh there are some wrinkles and folds there on the neck a little bit and over here on this uh, left arm you see some like skin pulled back so pretty nice attention to detail uh, and you got some wrinkles down below here. There is uh, no, uh, there's no uh, booty hole <laughs> on there at all. But we get to the feast de resistance. What uh, makes concavenator stand out? And that would be this hump there, right there. And uh, yeah, pretty nice. This is a little lighter color. And uh, we see the tail tapering off. It's, you know, pretty simple. This was nice, though. I had to get it. It's not as elaborate as, say, PNSO or Holland Good, but I think this is uh, great. It looks very realistic, and, uh, yeah, I just basically had to have it. So we're here on the other side, and you can see it. We've got some skin pulled back from the, the leg, the right leg that's about to step off, and then more of the same there. And, uh, yeah, that is the... Uh, Con Cabinator. I was so excited about uh, acquiring this piece that I neglected to go over some details. You know, as I try to do a little something like that. Uh, Con Cabinator, Con Cabinator, uh, well, it existed about 130 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. It lived in Europe. They found we have one specimen of this species, and it was found in Spain. And uh, it grew from, uh, they estimated to be between 16 and 20 feet long. It is a Carcharodontosaurus, so it's in that family. So yes, it is a relative of Carcharodontosaurus and other of its ilk. Um, the length of this model is from tail to, uh, see if I can get that. A little bit more accurate because he does turn a little bit we're talking about like maybe six and a half inches long and uh, that uh, you do the estimates if I'm not mistaken that comes out to about 17 and a half feet long uh, representative of if it was a living creature so that puts it right in the middle of that 135 scale which definitely makes me happy and now to compare pair our concavenator with some of its uh, relatives and you see the differences in sizes we are going to kick it off with the uh, clade uh, leader in terms of what this uh, this uh, you know grouping of dinosaurs were named after we've got the car cardatus the car cardatosaurus itself uh, from uh, PNSO and you can see um, Definitely differences. You almost don't believe our, our Connie there is uh, is a Carcharodontosaurid, but it is related, and it is. It's just there's the difference between a 20 foot, or in this case, 17 and a half foot long animal, and this particular model. Uh, I believe this Carcharodontosaur is um, 
probably uh, estimated, uh, uh, it probably came out to be about uh, 38 feet long. Um, if you uh, were to do its measurements, I be, I'm going off of memory for when I actually reviewed this figure. But if I used, uh, I believe I've got, uh, I got another Carcharodontosaur that's more accurately sized in terms of scale. But this is good enough. You see what's going on here. Now we're going to go from smallest and then creep up a little bit incrementally. We have got also from PNSO, the Maraxis Gigas. And we climb up a little bit bigger. We've got from PNSO, the Acrocanthosaurus. And rounding us out, we're going to uh, check out the comparison between our Concavenator, Concavenator, geez, and Mapusaurus. Very nice there. It's really crazy seeing the difference, the night and day difference with the sizes though. And here we have our 135 scale human, aka Ian Malcolm, up against our concavenator. So you could uh, see what one would look like in real life compared to a human being. And so what do you guys think? Rounding this one out, this is the concav... I'm not going to get it right and I'm not cutting any of this out. You guys are just going to have to grin and bear it with me. Con concavenator. Jeez, why is that so hard for me? To, I guess we all have words that we can't get out, huh? So uh, yeah, concavenator. I apologize. Thank you. If you've been with me this far and you've rocked with me, please show mercy and be gracious. Concavenator. Concavenator. One last time. Concavenator. I looked it up. That is how it's pronounced. Anyway, uh, just having some fun here on uh, New Year's. And no, I have not been imbibing yet. It's not that time. It's not that time. It's just me fumbling the word, the name. Anyway, uh, the concavenator from the, uh, for me, newly discovered GK Custom is, uh, it's great. I had trouble getting it. It, uh, it took a while to clear customs. I actually told you guys about this a while ago. This was the surprise that I had. And I fully expected it to be here like maybe two weeks ago. But here we are two weeks hence, and uh, this is what we got going on. Anyway, it's here, and I have reviewed it. Let me know what you guys think. Was it worth the wait? Uh, uh, what do you think about the quality of the uh, model? What do you think about the species, Concavenator? This is the first and only uh, Concavenator I have in my collection. I'm happy for it. Very nice. Um, the jaw is fixed, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Um we're going to have to deal with stuff like that until the likes of PNSO or uh, Howlin' Good. Howlin' Good more than likely would do uh, an accurately sized concavenator. PNSO, I don't know if they want to do uh, theropods this small. You know what I'm saying? They've done it before with Nano Tyrannus, but that was technically a one-off. Anyway, uh, very nice. The coloration is great, and uh, it uh, it looks it looks very nice. Um very accurate to what it's purported to look like. Uh, once again, we only have one skeleton, one one uh, specimen of this uh, particular species. So this is uh, what we think of it. It's It's been um, designed through paleo art and everything else uh, with that hump that you see back there and uh, been sticking with it. So uh, yeah, very, very nice. So let me know guys in the comments below what you think and uh, give a thumbs up please. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, hopefully we get an influx of new viewers who will subscribe to the channel. And uh, please do so if you're down there. And like I said, give a like, a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when I upload another video, please uh, hit that notification bell and notified you shall be. I may try to get one more video in before the end of the year. Chances are it won't happen simply because what I've got left is uh, things that um, you guys more than likely have seen on some of the more prominent channels like uh, the PNSO, Zool, etc. I've got uh, those critters coming. I've got them um, and I'm going to review them, but I probably will just wait until the new year anyway. So uh, anyhow, 
that's going to do it for this one. I went a little bit longer than even I wanted to go. I, I thought I was going to be pretty quick with this, but no, I still went along with it like I usually do. But those of you that have rocked with me, you're already used to it and uh, you have accepted me and my flaws. Anyway, thank you guys. If I don't come back with another video, have a very happy and prosperous new year. I hope you bring it in correctly and I'll see you on the other side. Take care.